Here are some instructions to show you how to best put the magnets inside the dynamo tiles. So what I have here is a single tile that has all the magnets in there. Um, so just to show you, each side has two magnets that are oriented with the same polarity. So these attract. Then this side is the opposite polarity. So if it doesn't attract, I have to turn the magnets around before it attracts and they're both the same polarity. Then the polarity switches again. I have to turn the magnets around and so on. So the way I put the magnets in is that I have one tile that's my reference. I'm sure that this one is correct and I will use it every time that I'm unsure of the orientation of these magnets because it's really difficult to remember um, exactly which side's which. So I have an empty dual tile here with slots for the magnets. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to slide the magnets into the slots and there's a little bit of resistance, um, put them halfway in there and then once all of them are put in halfway, I'll verify with a reference tile just to be absolutely certain. And then I'll use this little magnet jig here um, to push them all the way through. Once you've pushed them in, there is no way to get them out anymore, um, except if you cut the plastic open. Um, so there's another tool here that I made and that's available and it's like a little thumb attachment. Um, the curved side is intended to go over your nail and then you've got a flat side here on, on, on the other side that you can hold together with your index finger. It's a little bit like a guitar, like a, a guitar thumb pick, but instead of having a pick, it has a flat surface and that flat surface you can use to push the magnets down halfway uh, without your fingers hurting. So let's, let's start. Um, I have this reference tile here. I always start with the side that protrudes the more. It's just my reference point. I always start with that one. Um, in, every mag in every tile that I put the magnets in, I know that that is my starting point, just to not get confused. So I will double check that these magnets are actually attracted to this side. Now I'm going to look for the same side, like where the protrusion is here, on the tile that I want to populate. And I will put one magnet from this um, collection of magnets above the opening and then use the little um, thumb tool to halfway push it in. That's it. And then I go through like this. So I'm like, okay, this is two of the same, right? Halfway in. And now I'll twist the collection of magnets around to go to the opposite side. If I have any doubt about the orientation or the polarity, I can use my reference style here and see, okay, now it attracts to the side that has the indentation. So I can put my magnet, collection of magnets above it again, push it in, twist around, push these ones in, twist around, push this one in, so you'll see there's twice the same polarity on each edge. Push this one in here. Oops. It's a bit difficult with the camera orientation here. Um, twist it around and push the last two ones in here. So now my magnets are halfway in. I can still get them out with small pliers if I want. So I can de use these pliers to take them out should I realize that they are not oriented correctly because it happens. So what I do as a final check is I take my reference tile and I see if it actually properly attracts on each side as I, as they may. So now I'm sure that they attract. Then I use the little magnet jig and you'll see it's got this shape here, a U shape that goes into uh, the shape of the tile. And I can just align the jig, push down, and the magnets will pop all the way in um, to the extremes. 
The jig has like is designed for this to go a little bit into the holes as it's aligned, and it will push the magnets in, and it will be in, inside the tile and unable to come out, which is what you want. You never want these to fall out anymore. So now this tile is done, and they will just work in the right way. The nice thing about having the same polarity on each side, twice two of them, and then the opposite on the other side, is that sides that shouldn't mate can't ever mate. Sides that have, that should mate will automatically attract. So that's it. I hope that was useful. Thank you. Bye.